Hey everybody, and welcome back to the sub. Now over 84,916 weight re-rackers. This week's video is brought to you by an exciting new sponsor. We have the hashtag get jarred on to one mil on Insta in 2021 campaign. It's a brand new initiative here on this channel and every other channel on YouTube where I say, hey, if you wanna get really great quality content photos straight to your Instagram feed in 2021, then make sure you're following Jordan Marin on Instagram. For too long now, the followers have gone down the wrong way, and no more shall that be the case. So if you would like to help the cause, then check out the link in the description or just type this in in Instagram and help me. Please, I need your help really badly. Okay, also the like button, check it out down below the video, maybe click it. Okay, let's start off with number 19. A purge isn't a purge without the Homeowners Association. The Purge, SMP, Mayanite. Is there a Purge, SMP? I haven't heard about this. I must have missed it. I don't know. I feel like the vaults and stuff was always a cool thing. I don't know if the Purge SMP has the vault system set up, but they should totally have the vault system set up if they're doing it because you have to have some amount of rules, right? And if you can just break and blow up everything, well then that kind of like, you can just break and blow up everything. But if some places are off limits and you have to not break blocks, then, then you have a real system set up where you can use some big brain action, you know? Glowing supremacy. We've got another one of the same meme format. No, we don't need this. Look, it doesn't glow. Do you see this? Is it illuminating the area around it? The glowstone, look at glowstone. Okay, glowstone is a perfect example of illumination. Do you see the block itself is bright? The texture ignores light levels because it is emitting lights. It is making the area around it illuminated, hence glowing. Glow squid, you don't glow. I'm sorry, you don't glow. Just, you just, I can see you in the dark, but you're not, you're not like illuminating. And that's, no, exactly, this is correct. Aggressively make snapshot vid. I feel like we might have a few posts this week that have to do with the glow squid. There might there might just be a couple. Oh, look, dude. Look, the axolotl, it goes between angry and then even more angry with a little tornado on top of its head. Did you know that axolotls actually have a built-in attack mechanism where they create a vortex on the top of their head and that vortex sucks in squids to their position so that they can obliterate them. Also, it only sucks in glow squids. Regular squids, those are chill, but glow squids, they get sucked into the axolotl's face head, and then that's it, it's game over. Chillager gang, do something. Do a trick. Are you glowing yet? Emitting particles doesn't count as glowing. Are you glowing yet? That's not glowing. That's just having a texture unimpacted by light levels. You see this over here? This is glowstone, worthy of the glow in its name. Glow squid, you make a mockery of the word glow. Look at this light emission. Are you emitting lights? No, you're not. This area is dark as far as I can tell. Look at this. It's lit up. It's beautiful. It's glowing. I can you stick my hand nothing. in it. Nothing but an imposter. It. The only good glow squid is an unalive glow squid. Not enough glow squid destruction, though the glow squid remained alive. You forgot the part where it swam up onto the onto the edge and then it was like, oh, I guess I can't breathe here because there's no water. Oops. Guess I'll just sit here not glowing until I can't anymore and drop my glow ink sacs, which again don't really emit light. They just make things be visible in in the dark. Dude, that was impressive. God, I'm an absolute unit to be able to just, I just like stick my hand inside the glowstone and then a moment later it just pops into a block with silk touch. I have silk touch hands. That's what I gathered up that video. Looking pretty swick there, Captain. Yeah, this, this is pretty cool. I actually saw this on Twitter. Inga doing different art style, more realistic this time around. That's pretty swick. Thank you, Inga. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's looking pretty cool, I gotta say. Congratulations, Chrome. Chrome beating Minecraft for the first time. Jardon leading her through it. Ah, uh, yeah, that was, dude, that was great. That was great. When I get to be there for somebody beating Minecraft their first time, oh man, it's just, it's like making memories. It's like a big life achievement because I feel like almost everybody in the world now has to get through Minecraft at least once. <coughs> Maybe there's an age cutoff. Maybe like if you're 50 years old, you're not gonna get through Minecraft at least once. But if you're under 50, you're gonna face an Ender Dragon at some point in your life and you, you gotta know how to deal with it. And now Crumb knows how to deal with it, has the experience and can take it on any other time. Absolutely dominate it. Probably do the bed strat better than I can. I have some serious catching up to do. 
you have free time to watch the latest episode of Vault Hunters. You remember you haven't watched since episode 17. <laughs> yes, yeah, I know it's a lot of uh, content to catch up on here on this channel and Captain Sparkles too. And there's not really much I can do to help it because I've streamed a lot more recently in the last few months. So it is what it is. Vault Hunters, dude, I got to make progress every single day. If we're going to get to 16 unique artifacts, before we're at the halfway point now we just crossed the halfway point and if we're gonna get to 16 unique artifacts we have got to pump up those numbers because right now we're at five all right and i get it we're gonna start getting artifacts at a faster rate now than we were before but bruh, bruh, i have to get 11 more unique i'm gonna start getting duplicates all over the place we're gonna have to have some heavy trading going on fingers crossed other people start getting duplicates and we can help each other out but man we need to get some epics we need to get some omegas we need to get some skill points so we can stay alive and not lose them because that's gonna be the worst thing is when we're in an epic or omega and we unalive the boss <sighs> probably gonna happen in fact by the time this video goes up might have already happened i don't know no i am the king now got even higher in the castle and met william are you are you saying that you parkour even higher? Wait, what? What is this parkour that you're doing? Oh, I thought you were gonna do some crazy like two block jump or something. Oh my goodness. All right. Kingdom of Belgium. This is the official kingdom of Belgium, actually. Wait, so what is he doing? What is this jump that he's looking like he's doing, but then he's not doing? Dude, this is crazy. Fallen Kingdom server popping off so hard. Oh! Wait, I didn't even know that's where William is. I'm gonna be honest with you. I literally did not know that that's where William lives. So I've learned something new. All right, play.fallenkingdom.co. Feel free to check it out. It has been popping off lately. People seem to be enjoying it. I'm playing it with Zine, obviously, on here. But if you haven't jumped on yet, Minecraft Java 1.16, any version, feel free to hop on, dude. Check it out and stuff. Oh, oh, he's still going. Oh, he's still going. So you met William, and then you just kept going to the, the roof. I remember working on the roof on SMP Live on the on the final day that turned out not to be the final day. <laughs> There's a lot of work to be done on that one, dude. Wow. You made it to the top. Literally the only other part that you couldn't get to is is the flag. Impressive. Impressive job. Kingdom of Belgium. I'm it's really awesome to have the president of Belgium or the Prime Minister of Belgium. I don't know what the role is, sorry, in Belgium, but it's really it's an honor to have you uh here. You made it to the flag. Okay, you made it onto a flag. I mean, that's fair enough. That's pretty cool. It's an honor to have you guys here officially representing Belgium on the server. Crazy. I really hope this hasn't been done before. Low squid, low squid, low squid, low squid. <laughs> yeah, it's currently happening right now on the low squid server. It's it's pretty sweet. I gotta say, people seem to be enjoying themselves so far. So yeah, I'm happy we could follow through on what was promised back when the glow squid was voted in. And, um, you know, I try to be a man of my word, like I said. Glow squids have been added in Java Snapshot, so let's send in the axolotl army. Glow squid are added in Java Snapshot. Change log says axolotls attack any glow squids they see. Charred on in his survival series. I guess there should probably be a 1.17 series of some sort, right? Because the terrain's gonna be all different. We're gonna have big caves, we're gonna have wardens to fight. Oh my God, I'm still waiting for the warden in the snapshot, whatever that's added. But actually, no, they're probably gonna have to do the terrain generation before the warden because the warden, they're gonna have to do it spawning and it's like deep dark area. And is that gonna mean it's like at really low Y value and we're gonna go up to 512? Oh man, I think we're gonna go to 512. But anyway, I can't wait to have an axolotl army, dude. It's gonna be gnarly. Crimson Kraken's comfort art featuring crumb. That's alliteration right there, dude. Oh, this is pretty swick. Two different like color variations of it. Also very cool. Crumb eating a fish. It's kind of like a, it's, it's from raft basically. It's crumb eating a fish that she got on the raft and then took it over into some Minecraft related stuff. So looks delicious. I had sushi last night. Mm, I was about that some uh, salmon sashimi and then a roll. And then I also had a little bit of beef with this like plum wine sauce. Ooh, a short rib. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It was good, dude. When Jardon actually makes that lava demonetization server, when you say actually, it's up. Obviously the post went up before, but actually, it is overglow squid. I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. Yeah, any glow squid that underestimated my power is now 
uh, long gone in a lava bath, dude. Or maybe not yet, but it's going to fall from the sky momentarily. And just like right now, as I record this, Glow Squid are dropping with people watching it because people are on the server, dude. We have not had any issues with the squids backing up due to the way the data pack is coded because people have always been there to witness it. Because the answer to the question is, if a glow squid falls into a lava pool and no one's there to watch it, does it make a sound? The answer is no, because it, <laughs> it doesn't take damage. And, uh, and it'll pile up and the server will eventually crash as a result. So, good thing people are continuing to watch it. It's very important. Are you glowing, squid? <laughs> you know, it's funny because that's what I was thinking about when I was recording the intro to the snapshot with the glow squid. I was gonna, I was like, gonna do an are you winning son sort of thing and then i didn't do it but now you've taken care of it and i appreciate it and the, the answer are you glowing squid is no because they don't glow they just ignore the light level and that's all a fellow weight re-racker when you're in class and you hear someone say pretty swick have you guys wait i have a question you gotta answer this okay this is a question you have to answer in the comments have you ever heard someone use the word swick in day-to-day -day life outside of me using it in my video or you using it or someone you know who you both watch my videos or streams using it have you heard that? Because it's like the one time, it still only happened one time, that I have seen someone randomly out there in the world who was wearing a shirt of mine. And I was like, this has finally happened. That's a check mark off the bucket list right there. I cannot believe it. Anyway, has this happened to you? You gotta, you gotta let me know because currently the top comment is I dream of that day. So it hasn't happened to everyone. Hopefully eventually. Drinks with visible calmness. Stream starts. Jordan, I don't know where I am. I don't know why I'm here. All I know is that I'm not Absolutely. It'd be hard to drink though with that on. You know, come to think of it, doesn't this look a bit like a Lego head or something like that? It's like a Lego head or a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, like with a big smiley face right here. This is, I can't unsee it now. I can't unsee it now. Oh my God. It's like this smug smile. The power of RNG, Jardon, needs to get up cliff. Game gives levitation, Jardon, I'll allow it. Crumb, I'll allow it too. That was the best timing ever for those of you who missed it. This is actually a main channel reference in the video Minecraft, but we get a new effect every 30 seconds with Crumb, which also was the reference for like Crumb beating the dragon and all that stuff. So main channel video reference. Whoa, crazy here on the subreddit. Check it out. I don't want to spoil anything. All I'm saying is that RNGesus was on our side. Start on when the glow squids are added. This is where the fun begins. I mean, oh, the I, it should be axolotls, dude. I like how we have a couple of like, what is this? Like the third Star Wars slash prequel meme that we've had here for the glow squids. The lava's coming for him. It already is. It again, this was before the server was launched. But I am a man of my word. If only the uh, dude, it would be so sick. Actually, if the isologers were added, and like if they were in the presence of glow squid then it would cause their ice balls to supersize as they like lift up the ice and just absorb the glow squids into it and it becomes just a glow squid ball. And the ball, like they drop it over your head, right? It's the same thing as in Minecraft Dungeons. And it's just a bunch of glow squids and the glow squids just shatter. And so you would be unalive. Well, that wouldn't be good because you'd be unalive by glow squids, but at least the glow squids would be shattered. Wagglington the wizard has beaten brain cancer, everybody. Praise be to Ionite for his recovery. Uh, today I got to ring the victory bell, nine months chemo complete, got a scan next month to make sure everything's good, so fingers crossed. I didn't actually see this, that's really awesome. Congratulations, hopefully it stays in remission and all is good. Um, yeah, because I, I think when it first happened, uh, he was saying that the, the prognosis was not good, at least that's what I saw from his tweets. I, I have not spoken to him in a while, but um, yeah, hopefully it's turned out a lot better than was initially expected, so. Very cool, dude. Very cool. Best wishes. And uh, yeah, hope it works out. And the top for the last week. No one, Jordan at the start of every stream. <laughs> I thought it was like a gif with sound at first. I was like, how long does it go? Does it keep looping? Have we, is it gonna keep going forever? I have to do it again. <laughs> oh, it's so good okay well that's it thanks for tuning in everybody make sure to like if you liked make sure to check out 
Jordan Marin on Instagram. Help get him to 1 million before the year is up. It's a really big campaign. Tell your friends, tell your grandma, tell your grandpa. Get them all to follow. Who wouldn't want to look at these Swick photos that are sometimes sponsored? But I'm going to do my best to post more and stuff like that. Maybe we'll see how it goes. My life's not that interesting. But then it just means when I post a photo, it'll be exciting. It'll be like, whoa, Christmas morning. Except probably not that exciting. So thanks for tuning in. Also become a weight reactor. Check the playlist if you want to catch more subreddit stuff. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>